Hey everyone, welcome to the seventh episode of my binder meal tutorial series. Today we're going to be creating some ready-made bag toppers or treat toppers. I used my Avery L treat toppers dies and I will go ahead and try and link those in the description box in case you guys want to go ahead and check them out. I believe I got them from scrapbookpal.com. So I'm also going to be using rosettes on each little treat topper and I'm using my Tim Holtz rosette die just because sometimes I find that when I create my rosettes using my scoreboard and doing it that way uh, my hands tend to cramp up a little bit um, but you can most definitely create rosettes without using a die I will have a tutorial linked in the description box so what I'm just doing right now is preparing my rosettes getting them all folded up and ready to be put together and I'm using the Snowflake Collection by Crate Paper. If you are new to this channel or this is the first time you're watching um, the video in this series, I was gifted this collection by my friend Amy and she owns a shop called Teddy Boo. Like I said, I'll have everything linked in the description box. Once I've gone ahead and created my rosettes, I'm just gonna be adding them to my treat toppers and using some of the chipboard stickers from the paper collection to decorate them. So for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys listen to some Christmas music and enjoy the process of me creating these little treat toppers. And I will come back on once I'm ready to adhere them to the back of my page for my binder mail.
So these are my tree toppers and I just love how they turned out. So now I'm adhering them using a foam square on the back of them to the page. And I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's final video of the series. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.